Monsieur le Président du Conseil de l'Atlantique Nord, Messieurs les délégués, les quelques minutes durant lesquelles j'occuperai votre attention ne sont pas de trop pour présenter au nom du gouvernement et de la nation portugaise aux illustres délégués des États membres du traité de l'Atlantique Nord nos voeux bien sincères de bienvenue et les souhaits que nous formons pour que les travaux de la réunion de Lisbonne soient couronnés de résultats féconds. Member of the Council for the United States, Secretary of State Atchison, to address the Council. Mr. Atchison. Ladies and gentlemen, it ranks as one of the great democratic institutions invented in the last half century. Being confronted and endangered by one of the oldest types of political institutions, a rigid military autocracy ruled by police power, it bespeaks the will of the democracies to safeguard their freedom. It bespeaks their political maturity in being able to keep that freedom unimpaired while putting forth the effort to build up their collective strength. The people of my country and the peoples of the other countries of the Atlantic community do not cherish military strength for its own sake. They know that they need military strength to be secure against aggression. They know that a vacuum of weakness, as was seen in Korea, constitutes a fatal temptation to autocracies determined to expand. Unless this vacuum is replaced with strength, we will eventually be undermined and overwhelmed. For this reason, we seek to build forces adequate to deter aggression or to meet it. The glory that was Greece remains. Indeed, in all the long history of that country, there is no more inspiring episode and the determined refusal of the Greek people in our own day to submit to Nazi or to communist tyranny. We welcome Greece to our membership in the person of her distinguished vice premier and foreign minister, heir of an honored name, Mr. Sophocles Benazel. The Republic of Turkey, too, joins our ranks at this council session. Turkey, the home and breeding place of sturdy citizens and courageous defenders of freedom, which has spread its influence far beyond its own territory. Turkey is on the right flank of our coalition. And great pressure has already been exerted by those whose aggressive moves we fear to frighten her from joining our line of defense. But the Turks do not frighten easily. And their valiant soldiers have shown once again in the forces of the United Nations in Korea, where they have covered themselves with glory. Turkey stands firm with us for peace and security. So we welcome very warmly today, as a new member of our council, a representative of this resolute, stout-hearted people, Dr. Stuart Kapunu. Monsieur le Président, je vous remercie les aimables paroles d'accueil que vous avez eu pour mon pays et pour moi-même, et une fois de plus à adresser à Monsieur le représentant des douze États fondateurs du traité de l'Atlantique du Nord, les chaleureux remerciements du gouvernement royal unique. Je vous remercie du fond du cœur pour vos paroles bien amicales et flatteuses à l'égard de mon pays. Messieurs, 
au nom de mon pays et en mon propre nom, je vous remercie bien vivement de votre cordial accueil. The council is adjourned until 6 p.m. this day.